Thomas, how's your first run of the day go? Splendid! Run on time, dry rails, and smooth running. Too much running, you might say. All that speeding up Selgrove Hills has made me feel giddy. Not to mention a speedy ride for the passengers. Don't worry. I try to keep my passengers comfortable as much as I can. Hello again, slow coach. Better hurry if you're going to get me. <laughs> oh no. Here we go again. Later, Casey. Oh, um, see ya, Thomas. <laughs> Come on, Thomas. You'll need to go fast if you want to make this best two out of three. and 15 minutes till Mimiton. Ah, oh, thank you kindly, Thomas. I'll let you off this time, but don't go playing that kind of stuff while the next train. It was exciting for me, but not so much for the other passengers. Doodle. Uh, right then, Thomas. Up for another race? Not at the moment. I've got to get back to do work properly. Maybe another day. Bye, Bertie. Goodbye then, Thomas! I want you to arrange the goods train that wartime's picking up later today. Can you manage moving the wagons in place? Of course I can. Why do you think the tower called me to work here? Because you like to do big jobs. How did you know? Well, that's what Humphrey and Roderick told me at your yard. Oh. I knew that. <laughs> now, we've got to go and pick up a package from the Gradinia Goods Depot. So, make sure things are done when we come back. Right! Time to get to work! Hmm. This load's gonna need to be shifted fast. Better get on it.
surprise me, but have you seen the Carville shunter around here? The locomotive should be fetching my express coaches for the 1145 train. Well, you're looking at him. Hey, Gordon. I'm taking over Puffle's ship while he's taking a goods train down to Groflin Harbor. Besides, someone has to look after another's job. You do have a point there, but not all things can be easy like shunting coaches for one's passenger run. This is an important job for an important engine like the very Doncaster you're looking at. You're one to talk. Anyway, you seem to pique someone's curiosity, Gordon. As I am tempted to know what it feels like to pull such an impressive train full of travelers from all around the world. And what a fancy train this is, my dear Casey. The Express, an example of elegance on the rails. Miles of the railway's finest coaches racing along the lines with a fine big engine in front. Like me. He pulls like a bullet train on the line, ensuring that the Yeah, yeah, I know the deal. Expresses are the big fancy trains that only stop at the big important station. And the locals are the ones that go to all the stations on the line. Blah, 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 blah. We're all so happy in the end. You watch your mouth there. Not to sound repulsive or anything, but I think that a circus locomotive, such as yourself, should be better off pulling a train down the rubbish and recycling yard. Now go and fetch my coaches! <coughs> hey, is that my train seat, Junior? Yep. All ready to go down to Cell Grab City! Keith! Keith! Wait! Hey, uh, what's the matter, Gordon? You're taking my coaches! Whoa, 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 wait a minute! If I'm taking your coaches, who's gonna take my cars then? <laughs> Casey Jr., why would you go and do that? You didn't say where to bring your coaches, Gordon. Sayonara! Oh, the indignity. Livesdale Mountain Quarry urgently, but these little buggers are living up to that name. Ugh, Timothy's waiting to collect them at Baseline Quarry. Would you like me to take them there for you? Hmm, not too sure. There's still lots of shunting to do here in the yards today. Please, I'm up for the challenge. Well, all right, official. Sure. I'll go and get Rosie to help while you're gone. Take care with this lot, Tilly. They're not called troublesome drops for nothing. Ah, don't worry about me, Pete. I'm always up for a challenge. Hello, Edward. Hello, Tilly. Do you need help with those troublesome drops? No, thank you, Edward. Near me, there. There. All right, boys, back you. Hold back. Hold back. <laughs> oh, no. Don't. Ah, that must be. Whoa. Tilly, did those give any trouble to you at all? No trouble at all, Timothy. They were very well behaved. Wow! You're a natural of pulling trouble from trucks, Tilly. If only I was as good as you. Thank you, Timothy. 
Now let's get these trucks over to the siding.